Okay, so let's begin by rolling out the shoulders, moving through all the joints first. Big shoulder rolls. And then we'll switch directions. There we go, we'll circle the hips. And other direction. Uh, we'll go through the knees now. So feet together, circle the knees. And we'll switch directions. And good, we'll come to the ankles now. So toe glued to the floor, circle the ankle. And switch direction. Other side now. Other direction. Yeah, so we'll take one foot forward, one foot back, lean on the back leg, just rub this front knee. So make sure the leg is straight, but relaxed. Don't flex the thigh, so allow the kneecap to move around. And we're just rubbing up and down and left and right, 
in a circular fashion. And then switch directions. Okay, I'll come on up now, I'll come back to the arms, make a figure eight. Yeah, let's switch directions. Excellent. So now let's make a circle with a knee across to the corner and over to the other corner. And then when you put it down, make sure that you actually do that. You put it down, don't drop onto it. So it's empty and then we drop onto it, fill it. It's empty and then we fill. One more each side. Good, arms in front now. One goes up, one goes down. And we'll switch directions.
Good, right there. And we'll bend the knees, bring the feet wide apart and swing, rooting the heels down. Allowing the arms to completely relax. Turn the toes out now. And then we'll turn the heels out. Good, right there. Okay. So we'll do one more now. So we'll go wide. It's a silk reeling exercise, a chin style silk reeling exercise. So go wide with the feet. Drop down, drop the tailbone, sink the chest, body very upright. All right, and this hand, one hand on the waist. And I'm going to shift and turn my waist and swing this hand behind me. And then shift and turn my waist and the hand follows through. Palm turns up. And then when I get here, palm turns down, shift and pull, swing it over, keep the elbow down, arms up, then I turn. And I want it to follow me. I don't want that hand to move as I move. It follows behind and then swing. So the fingertips end up like the tip of a whip the handle being maybe by the feet or even maybe by the hips. So now we'll add some speed to the swing, all right? So I'm gonna swing and then I let it settle down. I'm gonna swing and let it settle. Swing and settle, swing. So I'm using the waist, throw on that hip forward. That swings the arm across. And then we let it float down one more. Good, okay, other side now. So that hand to the waist, this hand over, 
palm turns up as the hand comes down. Shift, pull the hand behind you. As the hand swings up, I'm already shifting in the opposite direction and turning. Shift and turn. Good, and that will add some speed to the swing and settle, swing, settle. Again, it's the throwing forward of that hip that makes this hand fly. Couple more. Good, and right there. Good, 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 awesome. So let's bring feet together. And arms round, right? So the arms are round and it's imagine there's a golf ball in your armpit. So I'm not lifting my arms up like this kind of round and they're not against my body. They're just relaxing. The big finger, the middle finger is just touching the seam of the pants right here. The tailbone is dropped and the knees press open. So as the tailbone drops, we press open the quad, which is the hip uh, action here. And so the knees just kind of press open. This is called opening the quad. And from here, that's very subtle, right? And the arms float up and the elbows bend. The elbows stay at shoulder height or below. And then we sink the chi. And the fingers are together, but not touching. Thumb, maybe next to the index finger. The fingers are straight, but not stiff. So as relaxed as your hands can be, but with straighter fingers. Inhale, the arms float up. Exhale, they float down. Imagine that you're not doing this. Imagine that as you inhale, somebody else is lifting your arms. Maybe you're standing in deep water and the Hands just float to the surface. Current drags them into the middle and the current pulls them under, but it's not you doing it. One more time, sinking the chi, inhale. Exhale. Now root down. So you can root down through your right foot. Lift the left heel, toe still touches down. Now step out hip to shoulder width, toe lands, heel lands. I'm still on my right leg. Then as I shift over, the hands swing in front. The weight is even now and the arms float up in front, waving up and down. As the hands sink down, I sink down with them, keeping my body upright, not leaning forward and tucking my bum underneath. Inhale, shoulder height, exhale. Hands land on the table. Inhale. Of course, it's the wrists that are leading and the hands are following behind. This is called beautiful lady wrist, fair lady wrist. Couple more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. And I will swing side to side. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, they melt down. Inhale, they float up. I'm going to step a little wider. Exhale, they float down. Keep that moving. Inhale up. Exhale. Turning corner to corner. 
keeping the heels rooted down. Now one hand, the hand that's following, this hand on top here swings forwards. The other hand keeps going. Palms up and then we switch sides. And we switch. And we switch. And then this hand that floats up first, this hand comes up to the ear, floats forward, floating over this hand, pushing forward, other hand pulling back. And we do it on this side. This hand floats up to the ear, elbow stays down, and it floats forward and we sink the chest. Inhale up, exhale, push. It's called repulsing the monkey. Inhale up, exhale, push. So now we'll add the knee. So as the hand floats up, I'm gonna stay the same height. I'm just gonna lift my knee in front as if I'm stepping back, but I won't step back, of course. And then push. And then the same thing on this side. Knee and hand go up together. Hand comes forward, foot comes down gently. And that foot is empty when it lands on the floor, right? So it comes up. And I reach out gently, put weight on that foot and then shift onto it, filling it. Inhale, exhale. So this is yang style repulse monkey. We'll do Chen style repulse monkey in a second. Good, last one here, inhale, stay in the same height, not moving up and down. Exhale, now hug the tree. Shoulders down, elbows down, relax, sink the chest. Put that tree down and then sink the chi. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, hands float down, they melt. And up in front, open, commence. Inhale. Exhale. Good, so here I'm gonna turn my hands inwards, my fingers inwards on the table. I'm gonna swing in opposite directions, one to the side, one to the front. And then as I land, just settle, drop the fingertips, scoop the hands, both hands under. Now make that figure eight we did earlier. So I'm gonna figure eight, palms stay level, wipe past the neck with the back hand, straight to the other bicep. And then I will wipe down the arm and over to this side, one hand directly to the side, 90 degrees, other hand in front and settle. Fingertips drop. Scoop under, now make that figure eight. So I'm following the palm stays on top. And then as this front hand wipes, this palm goes past my neck to my bicep, the arms around and down about 45 degrees. Wipe and settle. Now I'm gonna try to keep my knees facing straight forward. Drop fingers, scoop under, call this the figure eight, right past the Neck to the bicep, fingers facing up the arm, wipe the arm and settle. Couple more, fingers up, wipe and settle. Last time, fingers up, actually one more up here. Wipe and settle, last one, fingertips, scoop, Figure eight, wipe and settle over to this side. Uh, and you hug that tree, bring it back to the middle, put it down and sink the chi. Inhale, arms float. Exhale, they melt. Open in front. And down. We'll swing side to side. Again, soft wrists, relax wrists, relax elbows down, shoulders down, but the crown of the head floats up. And then from here up into cloud hands, the hand that's following floats up and I read my palm. The other hands underneath and then I switch in the corner and read this palm. And then switch and read this palm. Now we're gonna to try to make a little bit more whip-like. So even in slow motion, 
as my hands are switching, I'm already shifting to the other leg and I'm turning to that corner and this pulls my hands after me, just like that silk reeling exercise we did. Shifting to the other leg as the hands switch, turning with the hips and the waist, shifting, turning. So the hands are following. So if I did this with one hand, it would be very much like that silk reeling exercise we did. I will come halfway across on this one, just halfway, and then freeze, and then we'll switch direction, lead with the fingertips. Arms around, like I'm hugging that tree, but one arm is up, one arm is down, switching. Now the hand that comes across my face swats the fly. The other hand wipes the table. And we do that again in this direction. I'm gonna turn, turn, turn. One hand's on the table, the other hand's almost like it's holding a tray. Arms around. Shift and turn. I wanna turn 90 degrees to the left and right. Shift and turn. This is Chen style, one of the different, one of the various Chen style brush knee pushes. One hand's holding the tray, one hand's directly above it, oh, sorry, below it, wiping the table. Couple more, shifting, turning, swinging those arms behind you. Last one coming up. And one of these, of course, is a full circle. Nice. So from here, we'll just add in the yang style. So this time, instead of holding the tray, I'm gonna swat the fly with his top hand and it comes down onto the table. And then these fingers face forward. And as I wipe that table, I turn to the corner and I push elbows down, shoulders down, arms round, do it again. Swat the fly, one hand up, wipe the table and push. One goes up, one goes down. Yin and yang. Brush knee and push. Let's add in a T-step and a bow step here. So T-step, bow step. T-step, empty first, then shift onto it, bow step one more time. T step, fingers leading, bow step. Now just swat the fly. Just keep doing that, Chen style cloud hands. Uh, Chen style, sorry, brush knee push. So no pushing really, I'm just one hand holding the tray, one hand wiping the table. Now we'll go to the other side. So we'll do one more like this. And we'll get back into the yang brush knee push. So now the hand that's floating up swats the fly right across my face. And then the hand that just wipes the table comes up to my ear, fingers facing forward. And I wipe the table and I push. Inhale, swat the fly. Exhale, one, push. And I want to make sure that my front knee is not shifting in front of the toes. So as I do my push, I'm going to look down, make sure my knee cap is just over the base of my toes. No further forward. One more like this. And we'll add in a T-step. So inhale. Empty, shift onto it, exhale. A few more. Last one. Hug the tree, bring it back to the middle. Put it down and sink the chi. Inhale, arms float. Exhale down. And arms float up in front, inhale. 
Exhale down. And swing side to side. And then as we swing side to side, we'll move into this hold the ball position. So embrace the moon, one hand on top. And notice again, the arms are round and the elbows are down. I'm not up here, I'm relaxing down. And then we swing to the other side, same thing. And swing. And a swing. Now over to this side, hold the ball, and then we part the wild horse's mane. The top hand drops to the table, and the lower hand floats off to the corner, like I'm throwing a frisbee into the corner. And then I shift back, and I wind up, and I circle the hands around, do it again. Shift, parting horse's mane, yang style, parting the wild horse's mane. Inhale. Exhale, so now we'll add in a T-step and a bow step. Inhale, T-step, empty, shift, exhale. Now, as we T-step, before we T-step, we want to root down to this back foot. And if root down, nothing will move me. Then I can pick up that foot and be stable. And then bow step, parting the wild horse's mane one more time. And we'll swing side to side again. Inhale, arms up, exhale down. Hold the ball, embrace the moon. See if you can become the ball here. Then over to this side, we'll part horse's mane. So top hand drops down onto the table. Other hand floats up and the hand stays in front of my body as the body turns. And then I circle them around, shift back, Wind up, do it again. Shift, turn, wind up, turn. Good, let's add in a T-step and the bow step. So shift, now root that foot first, then pick up the front one. Empty, foot lands, shift in and turn. And the hand that's throwing the frisbee stays in front of my body most of the time. T-step, I step out, and as I turn my body, that hand stays there. And one more. Parting the wild horse's mane, young style. Now hug the tree, come back to the middle, put it down, sink the chi, inhale. Exhale. Arms in front. Inhale. Exhale. We'll swing side to side. We'll go into the chin version. So we find our speed. So now as I swing over to this side, I'm going to swing all the way over my head, not too high. And the fingers follow behind. And I'm not waving, right? I'm pulling. And they come down to this side and the hand that's closest to me presses away like it's pressing you away. And this hand holds the tray in front of me. Then I'll just shift into that leg and then do the same thing in the other direction. Over, turn that toe, those toes in. Now this hand that's closer, presses to the side, presses you away in the face. It's about face height. And the other hand holds the tray and it's about solar plexus height, just below the ribs. Now I shift in. I'm going to add on each time. Over, turn those toes in. Shift back. Now here I'm going to expand, press you away. And I'm once I've rooted on my back foot, I'll lift my knee to the elbow, toes pointing down, then empty and slide out, bring the hands a little closer together and then expand out again. Then I go to the other side, pulling over, turning that foot in, pressing you away with one hand, empty that foot, make sure the back leg is rooted, knee to the elbow, Empty forward, maybe a little slide if you have. Now bring the hands a little closer together as you shift in, 
expand out again. It's subtle. Over, pulling, 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 not waving. And out, pressing you away. Touch the knee to the elbow. Now, as I step out, I'm empty. I take the inside of my heel and slide out on that little bit. Expand if you have the ability to slide on the floor where you're practicing. And then over, and it's only maybe two inches that we slide on the heel. Press, empty, knee, empty down, slide, a little closer together with the hands and expand. This is parting horse's main chin style. Let's do a couple more. Over, empty, knee, empty, little slide, hands slightly closer, and then separate. Last one, pulling, pressing the way to the face, other hand holding the tray, knee, toes pointing down, empty, slide a couple of inches, and expand, hug the tree. Bring it back to the middle. I'm going to step in a little bit. And then exhale, put it down and sink the chi. Inhale, arms float. Exhale down. Arms float up in front. Inhale. And down. Swing side to side. Move up into cloud hands again, Yang style. So the hand that's following behind floats up and I read my palm. And I want to be as relaxed as I can be. So even my arms that I'm lifting have an element of relaxation to them. The fingers maybe feel like they're extending just a little bit, but they're not stiff but then they're not asleep. My hand's not curled up asleep. If you relax your fingers completely, then they just kind of curl halfway, right? So a couple more. One hand scooping underneath, wiping and scooping. Other hand, I'm reading the palm. Good, so now we'll come into Chen hand. So one more like this, halfway across, or, sorry, all the way across. And then the hand that comes up now in Chen hands, the palm turns out and the little, and the fingers on the lower hand turn up so that if I move my hand up, it would touch, the fingertips would touch the thumb. And I come across my body pretty close and I press out to the side, but it's not, it's a turn of the body. Then I'll switch hands. One goes up, one goes down. Shoulders stay level. Palms pressing out, arm is round. Both arms are round. And they come past my body on, in this direction. Then I'll switch, shift, leading with the back of my shoulder, and then press, switch, and press. And I'm not pushing away from me. I'm keeping the hands in front of my center line, in front of my body. I'm just here, right? I'm not actually expanding out there, straightening the arms. We don't straighten the arms in Tai Chi. So it's about using the waist to turn. Couple more cloud hands, Chen style. And then we'll come over to this side, we'll hug the tree, back to the middle. Put it down and sink chi, inhale. Exhale. Open. Swing side to side. So we'll do one more of each style uh, and then we'll move on to putting them together. So now, rooster, all right? So one hand lands on the table and the other hand swings forward. Palms turn sideways. And then we switch. We stay low for now. Switch. One more time. Switch. Now this time I'll lift the knee under the elbow and stand taller with it. So one hand drops to the table. 
hand and knee float up and I stand taller. Then I sink down, reach out with the toes, empty, shift on and switch. And then keep the tip of the tongue on the roof of my mouth this entire time, sinking the chest and float up and down, step, shift, up, Golden Rooster stands on one leg, a young style. One more, each side that is. Hug the tree, right back to the center. Put it down and sink the chi. Inhale. Exhale. Open up in front. Inhale. Exhale. Good. So two more moves. Swing, swing. I'm going to swing over to the other side, cross my wrists, scooping, and then waving both hands. And then scoop and wave. Scoop and wave. One more time. Scoop on this side. Wave. Now I'll bring the knee and see if I can touch it to the elbow. It doesn't have to touch the elbow, but it wants to be underneath the elbow. So I don't kick forward, I kick out to the corner. Lift the toes like you're stepping on something. And then down, scoop, stand tall like rooster, knee to the corner, toes lifted, and down. Up, and kick, and scoop. And kick and scoop up, wave and kick. So the leg is directly under the arm. Scoop, couple more. Kick, scoop one more time up, kick, scoop. Last one here, inhale. Waving elbows bent, arms round, kick. Now, hug the tree from here. Bring it in, put it down. Sink the chi, inhale. Exhale. Sink the chi a couple more times, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. We'll just step it in here. And what I'm gonna do is put all those together in a form and I'm gonna do it facing you. So you're gonna mirror me. Uh, and then maybe at some point I'll turn around and do it facing away from you. We're still missing one move, grasping the bird's tail, but we have an entire sequence of moves here, entire form. So we'll start with feet together, just like we always do. Take a deep breath. And then I'll sink the chi. Elbows bend. And land. I'm going to do this super slow so you can follow. But we do actually move forward and backwards a little bit. So open. Open the qua. Lift the heel. About hip to shoulder width. Step out. Drop the heel. Now shift over. Hands in front. And then open the door. So now I'll do a repulse monkey. So mirror me from here, up, fingers facing forward over that hand. One, and then one on this side. Two, now do a brush knee push. So the hand that's in front, 
swats the fly in IT step. This hand comes across, this hand comes up to the corner. I'm gonna step out 90 degrees, turn my back foot about 45 degrees if I can, and brush knee and push. Then I'll wave a couple of times and turn to the other side. So I'm gonna shift back, empty this front foot, turn it to 12 o'clock again to the front. What? Like a Chen style type um, brush knee push. Then here I'll T-step and this top hand swats the fly. This hand, other hand goes out to the corner, stepping out, wipe the table, brush knee and push push. Now I'm going to shift back and spin the ball. So I'm going to shift back. So I empty that front foot and turn it in and spin the ball in front and hold the ball and T-step this hand, this foot, sorry. And then parting the horse's mane. Step out, throw that frisbee. Other hand drops down onto the table. So I keep the hands here shift back, turn, and as I turn, just flip my hands over. Correct hands already on top, shift to that foot, T-step, step out, and part the horse's mane in this direction. From here, I'm gonna wax on, wax off, shift back, turn this front foot in, one, Two. Now, as I bring my hands across again, I'm going to step my feet a little closer, like a little bit about hip width. Step in, feet, both feet are facing forward. One more time, stepping out with this foot. Keep the hands going, they don't change yet. Now I'm going to go back in the other direction. So as my hands come across, I'm going to step in and there. So this foot lifts, steps out. I turn. Good. Now, as I come across here, I'm going to turn this heel, draw this heel in with me on the side. Halfway across on the next one. And then Golden Rooster stands on one leg. The top hand goes down, bottom hand goes up. Golden rooster. Down, switch sides, turn the toes out, 45. And golden rooster on this side. Now, as I come down, foot facing forward, I'm going to scoop this lower hand underneath and kick to the corner. Up. Kick. Down to the other side, scoop and kick to the other corner. Kick, put it down for now, sinking the chi, inhale, exhale. So again, like I said, we're missing one move and we'll do that at the end just for the sake of it. So let's go through that again. Let's start feet together and then the arms float out, inhale. Exhale. Your left foot, my right foot, because you're mirroring me. Left foot floats, toe lands, heel lands. As I shift over with my heel already on the floor, now hands in front, open and sit. Now repulse monkey, your right hand goes out to the side first. Up, repulse monkey, push forward over that palm, one. And repulse monkey, two. Now the hand that's in front swats the fly, T-step, swats the fly, other hand goes up to the corner, step out, wipe the table, brush knee push. I don't forget the feet, feet are pretty simple. I shift back as I keep swatting the fly and that front foot, I just turn it forward again, 12 o'clock that would be. And I shift over to that foot 
And then as this hand swats the fly, a T-step. And then step out, fingertips, wiping the table here and brush knee and push, making sure that I adjust my back foot. Now I have to spin the ball, shift back, turn the foot in, spin the ball as you shift your weight onto it. T-step, open the knee, holding the ball, stepping out, parting the wild horse's mane and adjust the back foot to the corner. Keep the hands where they are, shift back, turn this foot in, flip the hands, just keep them where they are, just flip them, one hand on top of the ball, other hand underneath, T-step, empty, fill, and part the wild horse's mane. Now comes the cloud hand. So wax on, wax off here. And as you do that, shift back and turn that foot parallel to the other one. Corner to corner. Now I'm gonna step that foot in. So as I come across with cloud hands, this foot steps hip width in, facing forward. And then the other foot steps out as I come this way. Now I keep my feet where they are, keep the cloud hands going. Now I'll shift and step in with the foot that just stepped up. And step back into place with the other foot as my hands come this way. Toes turned out. Halfway across, oh, sorry, all the way across. These toes turn out. Now I come halfway across this way and the top hand goes down onto the table. My left hand floats up, golden rooster, stands on one leg, stand tall, toes pointing down, knee to elbow. Down, turn those toes out, feet hip width, and switch sides. Toes pointing down. Now the kick. So we go down, toes turn out, Hand scoops underneath, it's already there. Wave, kick to the corner, lift the toes, kick out. Bend the knee, gently down, toes turned out. Scoop, arms stay round, scoop. And kick, good. And then down, we'll just sink the chi for now. Then I'm gonna turn around, have you follow me. And just for Grins will throw in the last move at the end. So again, I'm going to turn around. Still talk you through it. Feet together. Probably a little easier to follow me this time. Take an inhale. Ah, exhale. And then arms float, sinking the chi. Inhale. Exhale down in front. Shift to the right foot, root it down, arms around, left foot floats, hip width only. Don't go too wide. Swing the hands in front, open the door. And sit. Now repulse the monkey, right hand goes first. So I'm looking at the hand, pass my ear, and push. Other side. And push, now brush knee push. So the left hand swats the fly, T-step. Right hand comes up to my ear. Step out to the side, wipe the table, turn the back foot to the corner, 45 degrees as you push. Now just keep swatting the fly. So shift back, turn the left foot to 12 o'clock, which is toward me. Keep this going. T-step the right foot, swat the fly right hand. Left hand up to the ear, fingers leading, stepping out to the side, wipe the table, turn the back foot to 45 and push. Now parting horse's mane. Shift back, turn towards me, spin the ball, turn the steering wheel to the left. T-step. Parting the wild horse's mane, throw the frisbee. Top hand drops down onto the table. Shift back, leave the hands where they are. Flip the hands so that the right hand's underneath, facing palm up. Turn the left foot forward. 
Shift onto the left foot, release the right foot, T-step, part the wild horse's mane, throw your Frisbee left hand down onto the table. Now the cloud hand. So wax on, wax off. Turn this left foot in, over to the corner, switching. Well, now here we'll step the right foot. Sorry, that was the right foot in. Turn the right foot in. Now the right foot steps with me. And then as my hands go right, my left foot steps out to the side. I know nothing here. I'm just going to hang out, not stepping anywhere. Then I'll go back. So hands go right, left foot goes right. And other foot steps out, toes slightly out. As I come across, I'm going to just turn my left heel in to the so my left toes are facing the corner. Last cloud hands, halfway across up into golden rooster stands on one leg. Left hand drops to the table, right hand, right knee, stand tall. Switch sides, turn your right toes out to the corner and stand tall. Now the kick, right kick. So right hand scoops underneath. Wave both hands, not too high. Lift the knee under the elbow, kick to the corner. Bend the knee, put it down, scoop. Other side, left hand scoops underneath. Wave, lift the left knee under the elbow, kick. Now, as I put my right foot down, it's facing straight ahead and the right hand scoops underneath and holds the ball. I'll T-step my right foot. Step out to the right and ward off. This is the one that looks like parting horse's mane. So I'm going to turn my back foot and I'm going to read my palm as I ward off. Left hand down to the table. Left hand floats up to my elbow and then swing down and then up towards me and the hands meet at about shoulder height. Stay on the back leg, turn, shift in, expanding your circle. Now the push, wipe off that right hand, circle up, down to the hip bones and push and then we'll go to the other side. So shift back, wave, turn the right foot to 12 o'clock. Scoop the left hand under, T-step, hold the ball, empty step, shift in, now adjust the back foot if you can and read your left palm as you ward off right hand down onto the table. Swing up to that left elbow, right fingertips there. Swing down both hands up towards me, hands meet at shoulder height, stay on the back leg, turn to the front leg and expand your circle as you press forward. Separate the hands, big circle back, down to the hip bones, push forward and up. Knee is not in front of the toes. Now I'll wave the right hand to close. So I'm gonna wave my right hand, turn my left foot in, step my right foot about hip width. And as I scoop my hands under, I'm gonna turn around, scoop my hands under, right hand goes underneath. And come up, turn the palms down and let them float down. They come into that round position again. I shift over, so you're gonna shift over to your right foot, pick up the heel, pick up the toes, land the toes, land the heel, and then sinking the chi, inhale. And exhale. And relax. We are done for today.